Still trying to figure out the setup. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's true. I'm not sitting on the ground for a video. Hoping to have a little area set up soon, but we're just taking everything day by day right now. It has been crazy in doula life, in the doula world. So I'm just gonna get into today's main topic right now, and that is what is a postpartum doula? I'm pretty sure I'm jumping between your and there and all these different first and third person situations. Um, but really this video is to show how postpartum doulas benefit families, what we provide. I'm trying to give you guys the angles um, for information for a new doula and then new mamas who are learning about postpartum doulas. Doula work in general is very much mother-led and I think that is the best part about our work because we are providing a service and meeting mamas where they're at. And this is emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. As a holistic doula, that is what I do. I try to cover all four of those bases and then also just try to really feel out where she's at and allow her to know that communication is always open between us and that I want to do my best to customize my services to her needs. So that's the first thing that I always start out by saying when I start working with a new client. It may not exactly come out like that, but over the first shift, over the course of the first meeting, um, those words come out of my mouth. So I just like her to know that I have her best intentions in mind and that we are moving through together and that I'm there to support her through all the little battles and all the little blessings and challenges that she's coming across in these first few weeks as a new mama. We are a non-judgmental support. So some women wonder, why would I get a postpartum doula if my mother and my in-law are here to help me? Well, we don't know you and know about so many personal things that could possibly sway the way that your family members take care of you. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think when family members are around to help the mother, that is like the best case scenario because then she can have multiple different types of support. But we are that non-judgmental support that comes in and doesn't have a personal opinion about how you are becoming a new family and how you're becoming a new mama. We are there to meet you with where you're at, learn about if things are working for you, and then finding different routines and alternatives that can benefit you. As postpartum doulas, we may have other different therapies that we bring into our practice, and one of my favorites that I provide for my clients is Reiki. So I do Reiki maternity Reiki, couples Reiki, postpartum Reiki, and that's just a nice energy exchange that I provide for my clients, kind of give them, gives them a little bit of a boost, and also gives them some downtime. So if you are a new postpartum doula, or if you're looking for a certain type of postpartum doula, some other specialized areas to look out for are massage, aromatherapy, typically there are a few different ways that we go about helping our mamas and give them a little sense of rejuvenation in the postpartum period. As a holistic doula, I provide herbal remedies like herbal sitz baths, postpartum tea, even pregnancy tea if you are still pregnant. If I see that you have just gotten out of the hospital, I'll typically bring a sitz bath and bring something small for you to snack on because that is important to me. I want you to feel nourished and supported and feeling good by your doula. Another thing that we like to do as postpartum doulas is to kind of check out your self-care routine. So this isn't really stress so much in typical day-to-day -day as a new mother. Normally all the attention is on the baby and we like to step in there and say, no, you need to take care of yourself too. So that's when we'll take baby for an hour or two while you shower, meditate, do something small for yourself so you get a, ch a chance to just kind of freshen up a bit and we like to stress that so you're feeling like yourself and not completely wrapped up and only taking care of your newborn. If you are not 100%, it's going to be difficult to take care of both you and your baby, make sure your partner is okay, other children, etc. It is our main goal to make sure that you are emotionally and physically feeling okay and able to take care of yourself. And in those areas where you're not, like meal prepping or just taking little snacks up into your room, making sure you always have water, we're gonna be that little birdie in your ear reminding you to drink water, reminding you to have a snack, letting you know that we can make you a little meal if you have the ingredients in your house and kind of just giving you that extra push to be mindful of how you're feeling and nourishing your body.
Along the lines of nourishment, we like to make sure that you're being taken care of even when we're not there. So that's where a little self-care routine comes in. And this doesn't only have to be but done by yourself. If you have a partner that, that is also home and able to help in that postpartum healing, I always like recommending the partner to make breakfast in the morning. So the mama is always starting the day with a nice meal, a big glass of water, um, a little caffeine, and able to even take a nap after she eats. That can help kind of set the day off right, especially if the night was difficult with feedings or the baby waking up. I like to set up my clients with a little routine that can help when I'm not available and when it's only them and their partner. It allows them to have support in this way that lets them know that we care about our clients even when we're not there. And that's a really big part of this job is to make sure that we are helping them set up their roles and their lives with a new baby for when our services end and for when they're going to be on their own. We always go over the basics of newborn care and we also go over the basics of postpartum recovery. So the healing that typically takes place and how she may be feeling over the first few weeks of postpartum and really just stressing not to overdo it because those weeks are so crucial. This is a great perk if you are being hired or if you are hiring a postpartum doula while you're still pregnant. These little tidbits can be covered right before your delivery. So it's a good idea to look around in your community for postpartum doulas and kind of get an idea of what that service may look like because you don't wanna be waiting last minute. One week after delivery with your head frazzled, it's gonna be hard to figure out what you need. And getting a postpartum doula lined up before you go into labor will help you just ease into this transition a lot more easily. Another thing postpartum doulas do is we like to check out your area to see what type of stations are set up for you and your baby and for your convenience to make sure that your house is nice and baby friendly and able to work with your family dynamic. This allows us to also kind of have an idea of where the necessities are. So if we have baby for a few hours or if we are with you and baby, we know where your basic needs will be. I actually made a video on postpartum preparation so I will link that up here in one of these corners um, just to kind of go over 10 ways to postpartum prep. Another something we provide as postpartum doulas is your basic breastfeeding support and basic breastfeeding tips. You are new at breastfeeding um, and even if you've breastfed before, this can be very beneficial because if you are dealing with something that is abnormal to you, we may have an idea of a way to kind of solve that problem before it becomes a problem. Another thing we go over is the basics on pumping, how to sterilize your pumping parts, and a nice breastfeeding pumping routine so you are feeling good about breastfeeding. Part of our role as a doula is to keep our eyes open for things that we are not familiar with, and that is when we can source outwards to other people in the community, give you some resources. We can kind of see where we're not able to help any further and then guide you into that direction. Another service we provide as postpartum doulas is light tidying. So like I mentioned before, we sterilize breast pump parts. We like to make sure that you're all set up for pumping when you're ready to pump. Um, we do light tidying, we do some light laundry, we do things around the house that help your day go smoother and sometimes that looks like dishes. We like to fill in those gaps where mama's focus isn't and we like to step in and help with that. So that really wraps up the basics and the broad list of what a postpartum doula does. Of course, this is going to look different for every postpartum doula in every family, so I highly suggest getting that interview down and really looking at the services they provide, their personality, how they step in and out of the family, and things along those lines. Um, and if what you want isn't listed on their website, it always helps to ask them. Never feel weird about asking personal questions and explaining your personal situation and who you are because that helps us out a lot. I hope that this was informational for you guys. If you are new doulas, I hope you got some good little pointers and got a taste of what this could look like. And thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. If you have made it to this far in the video, please subscribe to my channel and shout yourself down below. I love to have a little community going on my channel and just stay in touch with new doulas and new mamas. I think that it's really a beautiful thing when all of us women can come together and be a team. So please shout yourself out and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.